Hello, I'm Emil, and today we're going to be doing another musical lesson, I guess. Um, so today I'm going to look at doing different voices in solo instruments. So if you play an instrument like guitar, or I'm sure piano would have it too, you'll have pieces like this which go... ...where you'll be playing in on the same on the same stave you'll be having harmony melody rhythm bass like everything in the song is on the one stave so you just don't, you don't have the bass and the treble separated it's all together and even if you have just two different melodies working on the same stave i i don't know if pianos do that they probably do um so it can be a really useful thing to learn how to do this so i'm just going to open up musical now <coughs> And since I'm comfortable with guitar, I'll do it with a guitar piece. But you can do it with basically any instrument. It's not exclusive to guitar. It can be used for any instrument in music score, even percussion. It's not really a exclusive to guitar. Um, so first I'll just create a new score. Uh, this is going to be a demand. It's going to be one of Bach's loot suites, so I'll just chuck Bach there. Do we need JS? We may as well. <coughs> Okay, so what's next? Um, I won't put the arrangement, but hey. I think it was the Frank Currency arrangement. Um, so I'll just choose instruments. And where is it? Strings plucked. Classical guitar. And it's going to do solo classical guitar. It's going to be in E minor. Uh, that's good enough. <coughs> it's in 4-4. Four four. <coughs> Sorry. Yep, it's in four four. We can have anacrusis of one sixteenth, and I'll just do maybe four bars of it. So. <coughs> it's, it's not the not the most simple of pieces. Um, okay. So, if you look at musical. Uh, I'll just close the inspector here. Inspector gadget. Okay. If you look at musical, you've got all of your note input. You've got your obviously your tie. You've got your accidentals, and then you've got these things, which are the voices, and they're what we're going to basically be using today. So first, I'm going to start off. What I like to do is put the melody in voice one. It doesn't matter what you do really, because it's just you can change it up, but I like to put the melody in. In this is the thing. Um, so I'll start by just going B B, and that B here is going to be a crotchet, and then I'm going to have a rest. So I'll do, I'm just going to write in the melody like I would for any other piece that has just one one voice. And then what I'm going to do is it'll be a, this one will be a, yeah, um, let's go G, and then um, a B, and then an E. Okay, so that's, this is the first bar. <coughs> so the first bar is a bit simpler than the rest of it, so it shouldn't be that bad. Um, so you'll notice how I've used that first voice, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bass line in the second voice. So it's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the note input, or press N on the keyboard if you like shortcuts more, that's what I'd do, and then just click on the two. And then you see now it's green. So basically, if you select a note in the screen, it's in the second voice. It's that simple. So what we're going to notice is, first, for the bass, there's first there's semi-quaver rest, and then what I've got is... Um, oops. Um, I've got an E, a low E, a G, a 
bay and then this one here um, I was chucking some of these bad boys I'll just leave it in the default config. Uh, I don't have time to format this right now, obviously. Um, yeah, so that looks a bit ugly, but it does the job. Um, <coughs> and then, um, what I can do is this one here is also going to be, and in the second voice, it's going to be like, um, put a press there. and see how I've got that. Um, and we've got that there. So now what we've got is... That was a bit fast, let me just slow that down. So see how we've got here, so while we've got this note ringing on, we can actually have the bass going as well, which is really nice to have, obviously, if you're doing a solo instrument, because you want to be able to play the melody and let that ring on beautifully while you've got the bass going. And so the next bar is going to be a little bit more complicated, um, and I'm going to get annoyed at it, so just, just warning. So I'm going to start with, in my voice one, I'm going to start with the melody again. Um, and I'll start with an, a D sharp. Um, I change that to that. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go to this one. And then F. Okay, so now I've got the second line. That's pretty simple. And then what we'll do is we'll start to chuck in our second voice. And so we'll start with, I suppose, a riff. Um, then we'll go into, I think, a dotted quaver and then that will tie into another regular quaver then a C um, actually I'll make that a C sharp and then D E A and then another B Okay, and then the next step we'll do is I'm going to add in a third voice here, which is going to be the orange voice. And so then at the start we'll have the same semi-quaver wrist. And what I can do with that is afterwards, to make it neater, because there's going to be that same semi-quaver wrist for both voices, two and three, I'm just going to delete that wrist. It'll still be there in spirit. But it won't be there on the page, so it'll it'll be it'll look a lot nicer, right? And then what I'll do is I'll duplicate I'll duplicate that B. I'm disappointed. Um, and this D sharp.
and then I'll chuck in a and then that'll go tied to that What I'll do is I'll delete that one. Ah, oh, that's better. Right. And see how we've got this. Okay, so it doesn't look very beautiful. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually just going to. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to delete these, this one here, that one there, that one there, boop, and it is as simple as can be. And so now what you've got is this doesn't look very beautiful, obviously. And looks, you know, it does the job. So you've got multiple voices interacting. And yes, that's how you use multiple voices in musical. And then from there you can add in the rest of the music, you can add in accidentals, dynamics, and um, you can add the accidentals to any, basically, or articulations to any of, the, any of the voices. It'll just turn up in green instead of in blue. Anyway, that's a little short one, and hopefully you've gained something from it. I know that suddenly it's it's helped me before, so yeah. No, it's just a little thing that is kind of annoying to learn at the start, but once you get the hang of it, it's it's really simple to just get ahead and use, I guess. Yeah. Thanks.